Did you know that you can access Centennial Library's resources and supports whether you're on campus or at home? In this video, learn how to insert a permalink to library resources into an eCentennial course so that it opens in another window. Adding library resources to your course shell is a great way to engage students with dynamic, stable online content. Forcing the links to open in a new window helps avoid broken links, and students are less likely to get error messages when clicking through. Permalinks are designed to make students sign into the library authentication system to seamlessly access the resource, but sometimes the eCentennial browser interferes with this process. Let's begin by going to your course and selecting the content tool. Within the content tool, select the module you want to add video or text link to. Click on the New button and select Create a Link from the drop-down. Enter the text you want to display for the link in the title field. Enter or paste the web address in the URL field. Select the box beside Open as External Resource to have the website open in a new tab. Click Create. And here's your link. When you're creating links in an HTML content area, the process is slightly different. You can click on the link icon above the content area, scroll down through the drop-down list, and click on URL. Enter the link in the title and click Insert. The default is for a new link to open in a new window. You can also paste the link right into the content area, but in that case, the link will open in the same window. To avoid that, click anywhere on the link, then click on the link icon. When the dialog window opens, change the option from Same Frame to New Window and click Update. Now you know how to insert a permalink into an eCentennial course so that it opens in another window. And to learn more about the amazing resources Centennial Libraries has to offer, check out the other videos on our YouTube channel and be sure to like and subscribe. Centennial Libraries, we're here to help.